Hey church, Pastor Jason here, sitting down with Rachel Russo. And uh, as many of you know, she was on church staff for the past 10 years, but recently this past summer, um, it was time for her to transition off of staff. She wore so many hats, she was, she was awesome for our team. Uh, but she transitioned to uh, Vault Foster Care Ministries. Um, and she is there full time. The Lord has actually uh, blessed her to be able to uh, uh, to be able to create and birth foster care ministries. And um, she's she's there now full time. And so uh, I invited her here because uh, most recently, um, as we came to the end of our fiscal year, uh, because of your generous donations, uh, we were able to reach out to all of our local mission partners and just say, uh, do you have any pressing needs? Is there a way that First Baptist can bless you and needs to bless you uh, at this time? And uh, Rachel has an awesome story that if you would please just share with them. Yeah, absolutely. So um, if you don't know, what we do at Vault Fostering Community is we provide resources to families who are fostering when they receive an emergency placement into their home of a child. We provide things like beds and car seats and baby equipment, clothes, shoes, diapers, all the stuff that hopefully would alleviate a financial burden of bringing a child into their home. And so um, we, I got that email from Dan Bennett, the chairperson of the local missions committee, saying, hey, does Vault have any urgent needs that we could help with? Um, and when I read the email, I couldn't really think of anything. I, I felt like I don't want to use funds that another organization might have a really urgent need for. Um, and so I sat on that email for a little bit and then we received a little bit of an out of the box request the next day from uh, the CEO of a state organization that um, oversees a lot of CPS offices and case managers and caseworkers and transporters of kids. And they said, hey, we have a big need for a lot of car seats to put in the cars of all of our transporters all around Region 8, which is Bear County and the surrounding rural counties. And she said, we really need 90 car seats. And um, I know that's a big ask, but is that something y'all could help with? And while it's not you know, meeting the need of a foster family per se, um, we wanted to be able to do that, but there was no way we could uh, in our budget. And so I thought, wait, I got that email from Dan and I reached out and Dan responded very quickly. And because of the donation from the church that was very unexpected, it was able to meet a really unexpected need right away. So we were able to provide 90 car seats to um, caseworkers and transporters in the Bear County and surrounding areas. Yeah, just incredible because it shows that uh, how uh, how God's moving and, and there are certain opportunities for, where you were faithful to give and, uh, and and then we reached out to our mission partners. We are able to be the hands and feet of Christ and we know that that vault is an incredible ministry. And so you guys were able to, to be the hands and feet of Christ and, and a, a lot of that originated from you and your generosity. Uh, so be greatly encouraged, uh, continue to be faithful as we press forward as a church, just uh, trying to see where the Lord will take us and just know uh, how awesome it is that uh, we got to be faithful in this moment uh, and be a blessing to our community. So thank you for stopping by, Rachel. We certainly miss you uh, here um, at the church, but um, we know that God is using you in mighty ways uh, with fault. And so uh, you guys have a great week. God bless you.